So that was another topic that, that I was hoping we'd get to, healthcare, which we didn't. Uh, so I used to quote the, with 37th because that was in the Michael Moore movie. So I looked it up again. And according to one of the recent uh, studies. The Commonwealth Fund, we're worse than the developed world. Yeah. yeah. Well, so there's a, a number of different ones. One Commonwealth Fund uh, study studied just 11 developed countries. Yes, and we're the worst in the developed world. Yes, yeah, absolutely yeah. the worst, yeah. 11th out of 11th. Yeah. And then there was another, not Commonwealth Fund, another survey that looked at 27 countries. Uh, I'm sorry, at, at, at far more countries, and we came in 27th. And wow. it, it looked at 72 different factors uh, in, in grading our health, yeah. and we're 27th. And uh, as a percentage of our GDP, the countries that finish the top, they spend 9 to 11% of their GDP, about 10% overall. We spend 17% of our GDP. Now growing almost to 18% of our GDP on just healthcare, yeah. right? So we spend about twice as much as the other countries and are ranked 27th. Okay, so here's to add on to that fact. Our private health insurance system, 80% of the money goes towards actual health care. 20% goes to over overhead costs. And now that's after Obamacare forced them to make that the case. Before it was close to 50-50. Half the money would go towards health care, half the money would go towards overhead costs. You know what it is in uh, Medicare? How much money goes to actual care? Ninety-two percent. That's so amazing. It's so it's it's just it's just a fact to say it's more efficient. This isn't that's not conjecture. That's not opinion. That's not something that you know we got from Code Pink. It, that's just the truth. So and this is one of those issues on healthcare where I think we're so overwhelmingly correct and there's just absolutely no argument on the other side that I would run elections, perhaps even on this issue alone, to just wipe out the Republicans from coast to coast. So, well, it's funny you say that because uh, number one, they kind of are. Um, even the Democrats got the memo. Oh man, people are really pissed about their healthcare situation, and and they poll like twenty six points better than the Republicans on healthcare. Yeah, and uh, and and so I have an interesting perspective because I do Rebel headquarters, and I talk to um, Democrats running not only in blue districts but in really red districts, mm -hmm. and I always ask them what are the top issues. Uh, and number one in a landslide is healthcare. Yep. Number two is corruption. Yep. That okay. makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and number three is wages. Yeah. I mean, it's totally rational. But Kyle, when we started Just Democrats, what are the four things that we focus that was, on? That was the top. The All top right three there. were no brainers. That's right. Corruption, healthcare, uh, money, and 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 wages. How's, right? how's this for a fact? Trump Care, the bill he proposed to replace Obamacare, repeal it, and then replace it with Trump Care. It had a twelve percent approval rating. Mm -hmm. Medicare for all has a 70% approval rating, including a 52% approval rating among Republicans. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll go <laughs> one more step here. So uh, they do a bait and switch a lot of times, and Charlie Kirk did it in the uh, debate he had with Hassan, uh, where he said, um, "Oh yeah, you want socialist uh, socialized medicine like the Veterans Administration?" No, wait a minute. Veterans Administration is not just insurance. It's the doctor, the hospital, it's comprehensive. In reality, we're not asking for that. We're asking for socialized health insurance. That's yeah. what Medicare is. Public funding of private private entities. Public funding of private entities. Right. Honestly, you could honestly do it either way and it's better than what we have. But I take your point and I think that in the context of the United States, it's better to do more of a French style system, which is public funding of private institutions, than a UK style system, which is public funding of public institutions. By the way, the UK in the Commonwealth Fund finished number one. Yeah, see, that's my point. And also <laughs> on the VA, they demagogue on that issue a lot. But what's interesting is this fact, the VA polls uh, as significantly more liked than our private health insurance system does. Mm -hmm. So even their boogeyman example is better than what they're defending. And here's the other thing, they always talk about rationing care. Like, oh, we don't ration it now. We do ration it now under our system. In fact, there's between 32,000 and 45,000 people that die every year in the US because they don't have access to basic health care. So what they do is they take an anecdotal story of one person in a single payer country and they say, "Oh my God, this woman named Barbara wasn't able to get her surgery on time. So you have one anecdotal story on this side, I have 45,000 dead bodies lying on a wait line on this side. Yeah, one of the progressives we had on from the state of New York, a legislator there who is pushing for Medicare for all, um, made a good point, and I don't know why I never thought of it this way. And he said, you know, um, 
and, and if you don't know, there's 28 million people. No, sorry. When Obama left, there was 28 million people left uninsured. So it was used to be 44 million before Obama. Give him credit, he brought it down to yeah, 28, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but still 28 uninsured. Now, uh, Trump added 3 million last year. I couldn't find the number for what he added lost the year three before. He lost, oh, lost 3 million. He lost 3 million. Yeah, insurance. added 3 million to the number of uninsured. Right, there okay. you go. So it's now over 30 million that are uninsured. Anyway, the guy, the legislator said, you know, if you're uninsured, or you ran into a cap, which happens all the time, hey, your insurance only covers a million dollars. And if your surgery or your operations go beyond that, that's it, you're on your own, you're gonna die. Okay. Or you go bankrupt. Or it doesn't matter. Yeah. You you can't if it's cancer, you can't bankruptcy doesn't solve it. No one's going to give you the money. You're going to die, okay? And so you can't go to an emergency room. And he said, "Look, if you're in that situation and your kid has cancer, we have just given them the death sentence." Yeah. So this So they're, they're the real death panels. The exactly. private health insurance companies are the real death panels. 100%. Yeah, I've made that point over and over. Yeah. Uh, Socialized health insurance is Medicare. Medicare, forget Medicare for all, Medicare polls at 77%, yep, mm -hmm. okay? So apparently, people love socialized medicine. Yeah. The people who get it in this country, not in the UK, not in Finland, they love it. Yep. Find something else that polls at 77%. You'll only find two other things, social security and getting money out of politics. Yeah, okay. that's why the Republican talking points make no sense. I mean, I love this new one that they have. They say, uh, Medicare for all is Medicare for none. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like I, I made this analogy. That's like saying, "Oh, we're gonna have a program where we uh, give shoes to everybody," and the response is, "Why do you like want to give shoes to nobody, bro?" <laughs> yeah, it's but like, we just wait, said, that makes no sense. I said I want to give it to everybody. I want to expand just, it. <laughs> it says to all. <laughs> but here's okay. the thing, Jake. It, it cleared a boardroom of Republicans. <laughs> they all sat around and somebody floated that, and they were like. That's genius. We're going with no, that and, one. and they all wrote it as a memo, and they gave it to all the Republicans. You know why though? Because they're desperate. Yeah, I know. Because they got nothing. I know. So now they now they're like, why don't we pretend it doesn't exist? <laughs> so now <laughs> Trump writes the dumbest op-ed I've ever read against Medicare for all. Um, Paul Ryan gives the dumbest speech I've ever heard against Medicare for all. And then now the question is, will they all? Will the Democrats go? You know what? Enough. We're going Bernie Sanders style, or will they go the Chuck Schumer route and say? Well, you know, maybe uh, we can un, find un, the middle point. Sight and, unseen, Chuck Schumer. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> answered Chuck Schumer. You don't have to finish the sentence. Okay. Yeah. They they learn nothing. They learn nothing whatsoever. Okay. Because again, it's not about learning. It's they're taking money from the pharmaceutical companies. 